So my viability appointment is here. I have to leave in T minus five minutes. I feel like so many emotions right now. Um, having a rainbow baby now and being going through that like entire experience, I feel like I can't help but like hope for the best and be prepared for the worst. So yeah, I feel like anyone that's been through that <laughs> pregnancy after that is just kind of like a bittersweet thing. So I am praying that everything is good and that the baby is doing great and we see a heartbeat today. And I think they're probably gonna give me, um, if everything is good, they're probably gonna give me some progesterone, some sort of a, she mentioned this during my last pregnancy. She basically said, next time you're pregnant, come in even as early as six weeks, even though they didn't have an appointment for me until now, I'm eight weeks and two days. Um, but she said that they would get me on a progesterone um, supplement to help the pregnancy stick. So by the amount of gas that I have, I think there's a lot of progesterone going on. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what that means according to Google. Google knows everything, right? So I'm gonna go. I just painted one coat on my toes and it's like this like green color and like it just looks like mold on my toenails because I need to do a second coat. So I'm gonna do that first I think and then go and we'll see if they let me film in there. I don't know if they will, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but wish me luck and I'll see you guys later. I don't remember like side pain starting this early. Like I'm already feeling them. Things will start earlier in pregnancy. Like the second one? Yeah. So yeah. you'll be more uncomfortable sooner. You kind of start to show sooner. That's the fine. Bloating. Uncomfortable and not so cool. Yeah. <laughs> so like everything that you were super uncomfortable, like the last four weeks of pregnancy, like 36 weeks on, sort of starts at the beginning of your third trimester, like more like 28 weeks, like pelvic pressure, fullness, all that stuff starts sooner. There's a heartbeat right now. Good. That's good. good. And there's the heartbeat. Oh, yay. Yeah. I tried to use my Doppler, but I think it's too early. <laughs> yeah, usually by 10, after under 10, you can't really hear a whole lot. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. We are not out of the woods, of course. Um, these days, miscarriages are happening all the way up through 20 months, but I don't want to focus on that or think about that right now. I'm just very grateful to have had a good appointment. We've got a heartbeat, we've got a little bean. Um, and randomly enough, I just got sushi and put it in my car from the same place that Nick and I went to after my viability appointment with Harlow. Um, and it was a very memorable time and meal because I wanted to drink sake because I was very upset that I was told that my the sack in my uterus was empty and that I was having a miscarriage or that I would have one um, and that it would clear out on its own. And if you watched Harlow's birth story, we're moving the phone, my uh, camera just died. But if you watched any of Harlow's birth story or here for that or you, you know, you know what went on, then you know the whole story and how crazy it was when I went back for my 13 week appointment and I was actually, actually it wasn't a 13 week appointment. I was 13 weeks pregnant and I went to have an ultrasound to make sure everything had cleared out on its own. And I was 13 weeks pregnant with Harlow. So, um, just kind of weird that I just got food here. I didn't even think about it until I just got into the car and I was like, that is so random. So I'm super hungry. I have to go pick, speaking of Harlow, I have to go pick her up right now. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up Harlow and I'm just gonna celebrate with some sushi. Nick is at work until Friday, so I did send him a video of the ultrasound. I also have not told really anybody. So like one of my best friends, Jenna and Faith, they don't know. My mom doesn't know, my stepmom doesn't know, my dad doesn't know, none of my siblings know. Like, <laughs> pretty much no one knows. The only person that knows is my friend who is pregnant and has the exact same due date as me. She's the only one that really knows, <laughs> her and her husband. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna tell my parents. I was thinking I might buy like a really cute big sister, like onesie or sweater for Harlow or make it say sister or something and do a FaceTime with them and see if they notice. I don't know. What do you guys think?
What, what have you guys, how, what are the most fun ways that you have told your in-laws that you're pregnant or have you seen someone tell their in-laws or their parents? I would love to hear. Mama. What's wrong? <laughs> what happened? Did you roll off of that? Come here. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Mama's here to save the day. Um. There you go. Hi. <gasps> I am 12 or oh my gosh no I'm 13 weeks and like four days pregnant yes I'm pregnant his favorite joke when we sit down like at a bar is like, wait you're pregnant um I am just snacking on some plantain chips we just filmed a little video as a couple we haven't done that in a long time so that was fun it was weird that those one people said that I can't sit still <laughs> Someone said that he doesn't sit still and he doesn't. He's like back there working on something. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty gassy in the evenings, a little bit bloated, but I'm still working out. I didn't work out today and I'm not gonna be able to work out. I'm not gonna be able to work out tomorrow or Sunday because Nick is gonna be working. But I can do probably a little home workout. Um, she's so much fur. She's so much fur stuck to her leggings right now. Overall feeling good, very out of breath um, when I'm talking to my friends on Marco and stuff or to a camera. But yeah, overall feeling pretty good. I've been, Harlow's been sleeping really well, so that's been so nice. I've been able to get quite a bit of sleep. So doing well in all of those areas and finally starting to like show. Um, <laughs> this didn't really happen until about 19 weeks with Harlow. So definitely looking a little pregnant. Um, finally, like not hiding it anymore. Before I was like kind of sucking in because I just looked like, felt it like I looked a little chunky or whatever, but now I actually like look pregnant. So having, it's happening a lot earlier with this one, which is actually cool because I can wear cute like tight dresses and like look, you know, pregnant, which is always fun. I don't know, I enjoy it. I am, going to be 14 weeks tomorrow, so that means I'm pretty much out of my first trimester. Um, the end of your 13th week is an awesome time because the risk for certain things is a lot lower. We have a little tag along here. Hi babies! Do you need my other leg? There you go. Need my hand? Good job. Oh, there you go, you did it! You want up? Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's a pretty exciting time. If you didn't know about Harlow's birth story, at 13 weeks is when I found out that I didn't actually have the M word. Um, and I saw her on, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. I saw her on an ultrasound. I was just like, whoa, there's a baby in there. So, 14 weeks tomorrow, you see the baby in the screen, I see you. Yeah, you see the baby? You see the baby? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, out of the first trimester tomorrow, very excited. Today I'm going to, um, dad's coming home today. And you got some hair on your face, girl. <laughs> um, I'm going over to my friend Jenna's house. I haven't seen her in like two months. She has no idea that I'm pregnant. She would have been probably one of the first people I told, but it just didn't feel right to like tell her over a text. I wanted to see her in person. So, um, I'm gonna just kind of show up with a belly today and she's gonna see it and that's how she's gonna know. So I'm just gonna tell her that I'm vlogging today a little bit, which I mean, I am, it's not a lie. I just lick your face. Oh, it tastes like lotion. I just put lotion on your face. Oh. Here's the belly that she will be seeing on her doorstep. I guess I have to wear like a tight dress. That'll be kind of cute. What, you wanna get down now? And get down? Everything's okay. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna have all my clothes like blocking my stomach. Once I set them down, I'll be like, I've got a surprise for you. And like open my flannel. I think 
that's the best way to do it because my hands are so full with all this stuff. Here's the outfit. I'm about to head to Jenna's. It's freezing, so I have to wear this, but when she opens the door, I don't think she's gonna be missing that. I hate this line that my underwear is creating, but I need to wear underwear. This is not sucking at all, dude. I can't believe how much early I'm showing this time. I mean, obviously I'm bloated and stuff too, but my boobs I feel like are bigger. I mean, there's no mistake. She's gonna open the door and just be like, what? Okay, what? I'm just, yeah, I think she's gonna open the door and just be like, what? Like, how long has it been since I've seen you? Like, six freaking months? But this, I, I saw her, when did I see Jenna? The end of December, maybe? So I was only like a few weeks pregnant, a three weeks pregnant or something like that. We conceived on December 1st. So here's the makeup look we got going on. Let's try my, this thing on top of my camera is a little light. My bedroom has a bathroom. So I have uh, to keep my door closed. Hi, I feel like I haven't seen you forever. I know I have a surprise for you. Oh. <laughs> this is why I had to film when I was coming in. Wait, what? I know. What, what, what did you find? I, it hasn't been that long since I've seen you. I found out December, right before Christmas. I've been oh. wanting to tell you a couple times. But you want to tell me in person. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. tell you over oh the phone. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh my goodness. But like, hey. How did you pop? You oh my goodness. My entire <laughs> oh, careful, careful, careful. Coda, Coda, sit. <laughs> She's learning sit, sit, no, sit, good. sit, sit. Good girl. We She's need so treats cute. ASAP. She's like loving the pool, huh? Oh my gosh. Well, she jumps in the mud and then I throw oh. her in the pool. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. I know. I know. So yeah, we can't hide this. Well, I'm showing way sooner this time. Yeah. This second. How far along are you? Um, 14 weeks tomorrow. What is that? First of my second trimester. First day of my Holy second trimester. Holy shit! I know. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh Your my hair God. looks amazing. Thanks. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull it together, but we pulled it together. We yeah. did.